Hi guys, this is Kelly from Bond Machines and today I will be reviewing the Anka ROZ German sewing machine. Okay, um, I got my hand on this machine and I've been loving it since I got it. Um, I'll put you run through the features of the machine and um, do some stitches with the machine. Now this is a pretty heavy duty machine, it has a lot of interesting features, strong, rugged and so through lots of fabrics um, including um, stretchy, um, leather, lycra spandex, name it. Okay, so it's pretty much everything. Okay, it's an, a vintage machine and um, it has some interesting features and one thing about the machine is its compactness and the fact that everything is made of metal. Okay, so um, it can run through different fabric types. Okay, quickly, um, the machine has um, <coughs> Obviously the wheel and um, here you have the um, bobbin winder pretty interesting the way you actually use it okay so um, there's a bobbin winder right here you have a double thread stand surprisingly which you can use for your um, twin needles okay you have your tension which has um, a two tension display here where you can also use it um, for the twin needle now the looper the needle carrier has um or the thread carrier rather has two holes here which you can use for the twin needle or the double thread um it uses a um, high shank foot and um it uses um the red the db needles okay um the one that you use in the industrial machines okay it's a pretty pretty decent machines and it's very very strong all right that now you have um the shuttle system uses the regular shuttle and bobbin and um, here you have um, what controls the feed dogs. Okay, over right here you have the stitch line regulator for the um, reverse and the stitch line regulator here. And this over here is for the zigzag and the straight stitch. Okay, this is the, the lever that controls the, um, the straight stitch and the zigzag. Okay, here you have from zero, which is the regular straight stitch, to four. Okay, right here you have the needle position for left and right. So you just push this down to the left and middle right just like that all right so this is the lever that controls that um i'll do the threading quickly and i'll do some couple of stitches with the machine all right okay guys i already threaded the machine um it's quite easy from the threads down down to the um tension okay um the tension also has numbers but i'm using the number five there okay down to the um it just goes up to the thread carrier down to this hoop here down here and you thread from front to back okay the machine uses a front oscillatory um system so you thread from um, front to back okay so inserting the regular straight stitch as with all the machines you just put this um there's this um marker here you put this marker at um zero okay so i'll i'll be leaving it that the longest stitch length which is um the number five here so I'll quickly sew with the machine now um, all right guys there you have it the regular straight stitch okay um, I can actually reduce the stitch length to get a more closer stitch um, I say I want to use two all right there we go Um, there you have it a much 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 closer stitch now uh, if you want to sew the zigzag design okay like I said it does this zigzag okay you just move this lever down so I'm using number four and I just want to reduce the stitch length to like one It's actually making a lot of noise because of the um, the material I'm using. It's a stretchy gym material. So, but there you have it. Okay. So that's the zigzag. You can actually reduce this further or increase it further depending on what you want to achieve with your machine. Okay. So I want to reduce this a little bit further. And let's see. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay.
Okay, guys, there you have it. Um, so in a much, much closer um, zigzag. All right, so um, I'm going to work with four layers of denim so you can see it actually sews through um, heavy fabric and um, see the machine is a pretty, pretty, pretty strong machine. Okay, guys, I'm using a four layer denim. Okay, I will actually increase it further in the video. So but let's go. That's a four layer denim um, straight stitch. Okay, so I would um, go through that again. All right, so there you have it, the four layer denim. So let me see if I can increase it to like eight. Um, I'm not sure about my needle because I'm using a size 16 needle, but I'll try it out and see if it works. Okay guys, I already have um, a layer denim here. Let's see. Okay, so you guys, um, let's see. You have it, that's the stitch. So it sews through eight layer denim. What I would advise when you're doing this, make sure you use um, a bigger needle, okay? Because the one I'm having, right here now is the size um size 16 needles all right so you get a bigger needle and i'm using a size 16 needle so but you can also use a size 18 needle and that's actually it. so that's like eight layers of denim all right so if you have um um the leather leather fox leather the original leather whatever you're trying to sew the machine it works with it all right guys so this is the um anchor RZ story machine um German I think is made in West Germany and I also um want you when you get yours make sure um you oil your machine properly because it makes the machine machine to works um to work pretty well all right so thank you so much for watching and God bless you